Hey y'all, Quentin Fight here, guy Chris with me. Hey y'all. And in today's video, we are looking at our celestial clock calendar. Mm -hmm. This is the one that Chris and I invented uh, and you guys witnessed on the channel back last year. Well, this is one of the latest revisions and we wanted to use it to show you how the celestial calendar works. On our earlier video, we went through the scripture and we did this little bit of math showing you um, by text how it works. Well, because it's time to update these calendars, we can actually use and take this opportunity to show you how the celestial calendar or the celestial calendar works using the celestial clock calendar. Right. All right. So what is showing you here? Let, well, first of all, let me tell you the difference in this clock and other wall clocks that you'll see. Instead of telling you seconds, minutes and hours, of course, this clock is telling you the hours, the days and the months or the seasons. Right. right. And that was the uh, contribution that Chris and I made was actually adding these extra hands to the clock. So, again, this one. Uh, takes a year to go around. This one takes a month to go around. And this one, since it's telling us the hour, takes a half a day. Right. So, but what it's telling us is that we're in the fifth month and we're beginning the fifth month. Right. But that actually is not right because if you watched uh, the video we published earlier today, you know that we're actually starting the fourth month. Right. Right. Because the the way the sacred calendar works, of course, um, the first month will begin on the first new moon after the spring equinox. Mm -hmm. And then we'll have 30 days to begin the second month, which will be somewhere around April the 18th. Um, sometime around May the 18th will begin the second month and the fourth month is supposed to begin sometime around June the 18th or the new moon after June the 18th, I should say. Right. And then the fifth month would begin with the new moon after July the 20th. Mm -hmm. But the thing about it, our new moons have fallen earlier. We actually had the extra new moon to fall in the spring season. So the fifth month haven't started yet. We're still in the fourth month. And I realize that's a little bit confusing, so you have to reference the other video to get the details of that. Right. What we want to show you in this video is what our celestial calendar looks like before we do our changes. Right. In other words, it's telling us that we're almost at the new moon, which the new moon was sighted last night. And it's telling us that we're in the beginning of the fifth month when we're actually at the beginning of the fourth month. Mm-hmm. So what we'll have to do is make the adjustments to the clock. And for you guys who are seeing it for the first time, show them what we did here, Chris. Show them how these moments have been combined. Um, this is the difference between our clock and the a regular clock. You see there are two movements. That's what gives us the multiplication of time. Allow us to track the year instead of just the day. It's because uh, Chris and I was able, with the help from the angels, of course. Praise the Lord. To put uh, these two clocks together. Now, the thing about it, to make the adjustments, you have to use the adjustment hand and simply turn the clock back to the right time. Right. So, let me go ahead and do that. All right. So, after we've made the adjustments, this is what it'll look like. We see that we are about 1.10 or so p.m. That's what this... Uh, Normally, what we call the second hand is showing us that it's right after 1 o'clock, about 1.10 or 1.15. Mm -hmm. the, normally, the minute hand is now telling us the day that we're in the midst of day one. Of course, at sunset, we will start day two. Day two will start at sunset, so we're in the middle somewhere, um, almost halfway between day one and day two. Right. And then we see here that we're in the fourth month, beginning of the fourth month here on July the 19th. Right. So that's the way our calendar is supposed to look. And we have to do this every three months. Not necessarily shifting whole months at a time, but we do have to add that day of remembrance. If you remember back the way the calendar looked at the beginning of the video, it was, it has now been pushed a day ahead. Right. Right. That's how we add the day every three months to give us those four seasonal days. But this time, because of how our new moons have fallen, 
we've seen the 13th month. So we actually had to move the hand back a month. We right. could have simply just taken the battery out and left it out for a month. Or we could just take the time to rewind it back one month earlier. So that's the way our calendar should look. If you have any questions or anything, you can leave them in a the comment uh, below. If you're interested in the clock, that's the Shopify links below the video or coachingafight.shop. And Shalawama.